All right, let's solve this differential equation. T y prime minus 2y equals 2t to the power of 4. Now, we can see that this is a first uh, order differential of equation. We have y prime and we have just a simple y here. Here we have a simple polynomial. So, uh, one of our first ideas should be integrating factor method. This is the formula for it, right? We have y prime plus px y equals qx. And this would be my integrating factor itself. e to the, po uh, to the power of integral px dx. Now, here we can see that it's a bit different than what we want here. This is the standard form that we need for it. So, in front of y prime, we need a 1. Therefore, I'm going to divide it uh, by t. And here it is. y prime minus 2ty equals 2t to the third. Now, if we compare uh, our formula to what we got here, we can see that this will be my px and qx. Except that we are working with t as a variable, not with x. So... Maybe more correct would be if we would call this P of T and Q of T. But you guys get the idea. And here this is P of T, right? Okay, let's proceed and find our integrating factor. This part. So, here it is. My integrating factor is equal to E to the power of integral what we have here. The negative comes with it, okay? So, negative 2 over t dt. The negative 2 comes in front of the integral, so 1 over t stays in there. Integral of 1 over t is ln of t. And solving this, the negative 2 jumps on top of the t. And e and ln cancels each other, so therefore my integrating factor is t to the negative 2. Now the next step is, I'm going to take my integrating factor and multiply my equation, both sides. That's what you can see right here. Multiply the left hand side, multiply the right hand side. Now in the next step, this part will turn into this. This is the easy uh, step of the integrating factor method because all this stuff will simply turn into this right here the derivative of uh, d dt t to negative t y now if you're wondering where did we get this from well here it is the product rule remember this formula so when we are we're taking the derivative of f times g this is what we got from it now here this, what you see here, is basically we arrive to this side of the formula. So, when we're coming from here to here, it's basically a backwards product rule. So, we're going to take this part and turn it into this. That's what you see here. I'm multiplying by this, right? So, this times the y and d dt. So, the product rule, if you want to work it out... Uh, see it for yourself. DDT, the product rule of this with this, will give you right here, this. So, easy to remember, make sure that when you multiply, you don't forget and you realize that, oh, what? Well, don't multiply this out and do whatever. Just simply remember, this, my backwards product rule, this times the Y, boom, comes down here, there you have it. On the right hand side, simply simplify. It becomes 2t. Now, this was beneficial because now we can simply take an integral of both sides and we will be able to get our y. That's what we're going for. On the left hand side, we have integral of a derivative which cancel each other. So all we have left is simply what we have in the parentheses t to the negative 2 times y. And here, we're going to have integral of 2t dt. Solve the integral. The 2 jumps out in front. The integral of t dt is 
t to the square divided by 2, right? Then these two, these two twos cancel each other. Don't forget the little c. And finally, we're going to divide this equation, or I should say maybe multiply it by t squared. And we are finally able to find our answer y equals t to the fourth plus t to the square times c. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like the video so other people can find it as well. And have a good day.